looks like it could be an octopus. Oh, there's a couple pieces of art glass. Okay, well we are here in Frederick, Maryland today. We are on West Patrick Street, I believe. I think that's where we are. We're somewhere in Frederick, Maryland. Um, we're at the Goodwill, and we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, so here we are right in the door checking out the Christmas. The Christmas section here at this Goodwill is a bit smaller than the others here in the area. <laughs> My eye keeps going to this weirdo. I like him because he's painted. What in the world is that behind him? It's like somebody's crap made from a book. Okay, well. There's no ceramic Christmas trees. There's an activity. box at Christmas. I'm not going to dig through it though. All right, we're gonna head into the back and check out the hard goods. Okay, so here are figurines. This, oh, I thought it was a hippo. Turns out it is a Jingle Bell cow. <laughs> Marty made that, Marty made a few of those leaves. <laughs> I think this is Homeco. There's supposed to be a little boy that goes with her, but she's by herself today. I kind of like the cat in the back. Oh my gosh, it's plastic. It's like a Halloween glow mold. <laughs> Black kitty. A la Conte bird. There's a paperweight. This one is likely made in China. You can see the clarity of it is not the best. Um, the bottom is cloudy. Um, it's two dollars and fifty cents. Is that why Diane called me? I don't know. Glass apple, three dollars and fifty cents. Looks like they're putting out some fresh merchandise. But most of those are empty, so that means they must be stuck in the shelves. I like the checkered look on this, but I don't think it's Mackenzie Child's. Sakura China. Debbie Mum. I think it's made to look like Mackenzie Child's. It has a pretty glaze on it. Probably a home goods piece though, if I had to guess. Okay, checking out the canisters. I do like the design on these canisters with the pretzels on those. I think I'm gonna um, try to turn those over and see what the marking is on the bottom. So you can see here, they were sold at Value City Furniture. <laughs> they were $9.99 and now they're $9.80. So you can save 19 cents on those. <laughs> That's too funny. Made in Italy. Um, there are a pair of them, but I'm not gonna mess with those. I'm not really sure what these things are, but they look cool. Made in India. What are those? They kind of look like flames, right? What? They're $1.49 each. I think they're candle holders. I wouldn't buy them if they were just like this because that's just kind of your one of the mill candle holder. But the fact that they have this, um, I don't know, is, is it decorative? Is it supposed to sit in there when you don't have the candle or does it sit on top of the candle? I don't know. I kind of like those for only a dollar fifty. They're probably, you know, they're probably just made out of like a, a plate or like a mixed metal, but a um, dollar fifty each. Those are, those are pretty interesting. Totally skipped over the frames. Kind of nice. There are these on the frames. I don't really see much in the frames though, so I don't think I missed much. Those are color candle holders. 
what is that back there? Oh, I don't know. I was looking at that little orange, or the little orange, the little yellow man back there. This is fancy desk thing. All right, no glassy babies. It's not our turn yet to find one, but someday we will. It'll be our turn. <laughs> What in the world is this thing? Oh my gosh, it's extremely heavy. $6.50. Looks like turned wood. I really want to see what the bottom looks like, so let's try to turn that. Marshalls. Okay, it's a Marshalls piece. That's something that if I was to buy, I would probably put in my booth, but um, I don't think it's something that I really want to pick up today. Here is a trash can. <laughs> I also don't need a trash can. Arthur Court napkin holder. So I recently sold an Arthur Court, um, I think it was a cake plate, right? And then I sold an Arthur Court bowl, and they all they both had the bunny pattern on it. And so here's the Arthur, <laughs> the Arthur Court napkin holder that went with both of those. And so I've I've put together this set. Of course, I've already sold the other two pieces, but um, this is the napkin holder that went with those two pieces. So three dollars and fifty cents. I'll grab that. Hi there, aren't you pretty? Do you want to come with me for $6.50? I think that's a signature right there. That's nice. I would say that's, I don't know, is that 1980s? Probably. I guess the metals are where it's at today. Although we haven't really ventured into the glass and powder yet. Here we go. Looks like somebody loved this so much that when it broke, they fashioned a little handle out of clay. <laughs> oh, it's like a winter berry. Oh, look at this. I think that sold at TJ Maxx. I remember whenever um, we went to um, Goodwill right after uh, 2020 COVID and they dumped all of the Easter stuff that didn't get sold at TJ Maxx. This was like one of the plates I would have expected to see there. It was like the surplus of all of this Easter. I don't know what that was. Oh my gosh, there's confetti all over the place. So you're probably like, Jocelyn, why are you staring at this soap dispenser? The reason I'm staring at the soap dispenser is because I was looking up comps the other day. And I forget what I was even looking at, but um, this listing popped up and it was for... Um, it was for a toothbrush holder and it was like green, but it matched this and it had sold for like $400. And I remember I had one and mine sold for a lot of money. It wasn't $400, but mine sold for a lot of money. And I couldn't believe what I had sold for. And so that's been like, what? I'm wondering if I should pay $2.50 for the soap this month or knowing what the toothbrush holder I had sold for. And I'm also wondering, is there a toothbrush holder over there? I guess we'll find out when we get over there. I think I'm gonna buy this ridiculous soap dispenser for $2.50 and I guess we'll find out. So it looks like this stuff um, that's on the cart, oh look, here's a longer burger, right? Six, no, $9.49, I had it upside down. Um, she's kind of fancy. They're not currently uh, um, stocking the shelves. The carts are just sitting here, so I figure maybe I'll check them out. She's missing her fingers, unfortunately. There is an art glass pepper or fruit of some sort. Here is an elephant for $4.50. A few real fur critters that I'm not going to mess with. Yep. I might grab these for JoJo. Jessie's daughter. Um, she absolutely is obsessed with these things at the moment. Um, and Julia has given her like all of hers. Um, so $3.50. Grab this for her. This basket. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's so much fun. Julia might like that. Maybe I'll grab that for her. Let's see what else is in this basket. So I'm just going to move this stuff into the lower basket so not to disturb it too much. There's actually two of those. Oh, I see art glass. What is it? it? Looks like it could be an octopus. Oh, there's a couple pieces of art glass. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. A dollar fifty. 
I'm gonna pick that up for a dollar fifty. I don't know if that's an ornament or what it is, but I like it. I'm grab octopus, three dollars and fifty cents. He's kind of cute. And yes, I am putting everything back in the basket for all of you who are concerned that maybe I wouldn't do that. I did miss this entire bag of poppets, so there we go. All right, well, I had to wait my turn to check out the Christmas. It's kind of a little bit crowded over here today. This is adorable, but I feel like Santa needs to be sitting in the chair. To pay $6.50 for that. I'm not really sure where Santa ended up. <laughs> um, it's adorable. 99 cents on the ornaments. Oh, the crow's missing a leg. There are a few Christmas trees. I thought about grabbing these for the kids maybe, but um, I think maybe I could just pick some up at Target. Because the problem with these is I don't know if the light bulbs work. So I don't really want to grab those and get them home and find out they don't work. And I don't really want to... <laughs> mess around here trying to find an outlet. Okay, well, this was on the bottom shelf and I snatched it up and stuck it in here because I thought this would look great in Juliet's room. Um, she has a teal room. She does have the floral wallpaper, but for the most part, it's pretty teal. So I thought that would look great on her wall. So I did grab that. Uh, I did not find the toothbrush holder that matches this. I'm still really not sure. It just seems absurd to me that the toothbrush holder sold for that much, but um, <laughs> why not take a chance at $2.50? Um, you saw the pencil. I'm going to give that to Juliet. It's just fun and funky, and I think, I think she'd have fun with that. Um, and that's really it. I'm kind of on the fence about the octopus, just because it's likely made in China, probably sold at an aquarium. And the reason I say that is because you can see the bottom is cloudy. That's always not an indication, um, that it's made in China, but, um... It is a hint. So you see that and you're like, mm, I don't know. Also the clarity, as I talked about earlier, you can see there's a lot of bubbles in there. I would give it to Ashton, but he's kind of grown out of the art glass phase. So I may put the octopus back, but I'm gonna check out the lamps real quick. This one looks like it could be pretty cool. What is it? Obviously it has a Doctor Who shade. That's pretty neat. I might look that up because I know that has a cult following. Okay, so there's some more lamps stashed over here in the corner. Um, it was actually this giant thing that attracted me over here. Um, and there's a few interesting lamps, but I don't know. That one looks like a wine glass that's been spray painted silver. <laughs> I don't really need a wine glass lamp. so. I tried looking this one up and I really couldn't find anything on eBay, so I'm going to look again on Worth Point this time. Alright, well I had to do a um, Google search, and apparently this is the Sonic Screwdriver. <laughs> very fancy. I did watch a few seasons of the show, I will say that. It was a very long time ago. Um, I don't even think this guy was Doctor Who at the time. But anyway, uh, so it's for sale right now for 50 bucks. I think I'm going to put it back. I guess if you find the one with the TARDIS, you're in luck, but the sonic screwdriver, nobody wants. <laughs> I like the looks of her dress. She feels very plasticky though. Oh God. Okay, there we go. Okay, well before I take off for the day, I am going to browse through the baggies. It's pretty crowded over here before, so I kind of steered clear. Look at all those smiley faces. Those remind me of Yvonne. Um, here is a baggie of ornaments. Looks like those are mostly made in China though. And that's really it. Over here we have um, pencils and craft supplies and here are some fake vegetables. They're not the best quality fake vegetables either. And uh, I think that's really it. All right, so I am going to slip this guy back on the shelf here. And I'm still debating about this silly thing. You know what? I think I'll leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. 
Okay, well our total spend there at that Goodwill was $29.06 and I'm really happy with everything we got. Um, I got a few things for ourselves and I got a few things for resale. Um, I thought those candlesticks were really neat with the little things that go on top and that art glass ornament. I'm not sure if that's a sun catcher or if we could stick it on the tree. I guess we could do either or. Um, but it was a good trip to the Goodwill. Um, nothing extremely exciting, but um, it was a fun trip. So I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head on down the road to the next Goodwill. You guys are going to have to wait for that video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So oh, look at this. Rub my belly please, human. That, Thank you. Is that good? Yes, that's right where I wanted oh, it. Oh, baby. That feels good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Oh, look at that smile. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at yes, that smile. If you could just continue that for about the next 15 minutes, I would be very grateful. Thank you. Thanks. Uh-oh. Thank you. Go get some apple. Apple? apple? Yes. Here he comes. What's he doing with an apple? <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's a ball. Where's your ball? Ashton. Hanky! In the barn. Hank? Ashton. Ashton. He's like, where did it go? Hank, look, look, look. There's a ball right here. Let's give him a little bit. He likes the apples. Hank, sit. Ashton, if he says, Hank. Throw it in the backyard. Throw it in the backyard. I don't know why you keep throwing it up at the house. There he goes. He's gonna run at me. Oh, no. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> sit, sit, sit. Drop, drop it. Drop. Drop it. Come here. Sit. Even Laurel thinks it's come. funny. Hey, come. He's like, no, you come and get it from me. Okay, I'll come. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> <laughs> so goofy. <laughs> hey, hey, come here. Bring the ball. Come. Hey, come. <laughs> hold him, hold him, hold him. Train you very well, did you? Huh? Like, How much did you pay for this? Hey, no. Ashton, look where you're going. So that's half. I think it'll be okay. I think I might need another string. What's that? I think I might need another string. Well, I guess if I'm only doing the front, then I should be okay. Just along this front edge, you said. Yeah. That's a good Ashton, thank you. I think you can get away with two, is what I'm saying. You could go grab the lights that we left over by um, the driveway, and we could put those on the Christmas tree. Yes. Oh, thank you. Here we go. <laughs> one ladder is. I think that'll work. Too short, and one ladder yeah, is. Put some books on here, and I can stand on top of the books. <laughs> you should see me standing on the Costco stool hanging the Halloween lights. Oh, Everybody got a kick out of that. Yeah, so when I, when I was out here doing the Christmas stuff, I had to make a promise to everyone that I wasn't going to do that again. <laughs> I was going to wait for you. Yeah, I think this one's safer than that one. I don't have to reach too far. Yeah, that makes me nervous. Okay, well the consensus is that I'm going to go to Target and get two more strings of lights and we're going to bring another ladder over. We have an eight foot ladder over at the shop and I think that's just gonna be the safest Better route. Safe than sorry. Yeah. I like I like mm. that. I like that. Mm. <laughs> Can you tell he's eleven years old and he's an eleven year old boy? Just weird noises. He's being so goofy. Why are you being so goofy? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I can at least put the Christmas lights on my tree. Yeah. So, I'll at least do that. So I've decided that in future years, it should not be my job to guesstimate um, footage of Christmas tree lights because I'm really bad at it. <laughs> uh, I bought two boxes of Christmas tree lights, and Dad and I were kind of able to make it work, but definitely was able to go like this way this way we didn't even make it all the way around the tree it was just like one of these zigzag things and then the second string kind of goes like this why are you smiling like that i'm not 
Because you woke your baby sister up, no, didn't you? No, I didn't. Jen? You did. I bet she's in there. She's awake, isn't she? She's crying. All right. <laughs> Hank, are you gonna go for a ride? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if to turn it on or anything, right? Is this ready? No, it's on already. You can turn it off. <laughs> he wants hey. to. He wants to help. No, he wants to help. Get away! I want to help. No kisses. You goofy pup. You are something, Hank. Where are you going with my stones? Where'd you find them? All over the place. <laughs> I'm gonna put them right here on this wall. <laughs> I basically stole them from various locations along the walls. <laughs> I mean that works. <laughs> Don't think. Hopefully. And put the rocks back. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is paperwork and stuff inside them, huh? I still think your ladder is too short. <laughs> no, it's perfect. Perfect the moon I don't know. Here it is with the icicle lights. I have to get some new batteries in the sled and the little lantern, but it's coming along. I still have to add some ribbon and I was gonna add a little bit of garland above the door, maybe a wreath, but one step at a time. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.